Hi everyone, uh, all through this week we kind of talk about earnings that came out last week because it's been a busy earnings season and probably next week I'm going to be doing a lot of earnings so over the next two weeks I'm going to be talking about a lot of earnings that have been coming out. The first earnings I'm going to talk about is Tesla. Um, I've talked about Tesla quite a lot on this channel recently and Tesla's earnings have been absolutely amazing. Um, Tesla have done earnings this week and they were really really good earnings. I've talked about S uh, Tesla quite a bit and how about these earnings have been really important for them. It's a bit of a make or break kind of earnings for them um, and with the earnings that they've just reported they have definitely been a make of an earnings. They have been really good so we're just going to read this article here and then we're going to talk about Tesla overall. So um, this um, article is from when Tesla re released their earnings. Tesla shares saw on surprise third quarter profit that beats Wall Street expectations. Tesla shares jumped more by more than 12% after the company reported a surprise profit for the third quarter. Tesla gave investors hope that its production rates will improve, saying that the number of labor hours to build the Model 3 fell. This is CEO's Elon Musk's last earnings report as chairman for at least three years. Um, and we look down here, adjusted earnings were 2.90 a share versus an expected loss of 19 cents per share. And revenue came in at 6.82 billion versus an expected 6.33 billion. So on the revenue side of it, it was a really good beat. On the revenue side of it, the earnings per share was so good. Um, I've talked about that. I really struggled to see if Tesla could make that um, jump from making the profit and it has done and I was kind of like one of the people that were there going I don't know if they can do it, I don't know if Elon Musk can do it, he comes out with a lot of stuff saying that all these things and then um, he doesn't follow through with it and he followed through with it big time. On the earnings report as well it came out that Tesla actually beat the number of cars they were expected to produce, I think they beat the amount by like 300 over the quarter which is really good. So they, they beat the expected cars they were going to produce in that quarter, they beat the revenue per quarter, and they also beat the earnings per share, which is really good because I think this is the third time they've ever made profit in a quarter, which is really good. Um, there's a, a, lot, a few couple of pieces of news that came out in the earnings report, which were interesting as well. It came out that they purchased the land in China to build a factory in China. The reason why they're building the factory in China is because they're trying to avoid the tariffs that are being put on them. Uh, I think the, the, at the moment it's like a 40% tariff or something stupid like that. So if they can produce these cars in China then they can make more money from them which is a really good move from their half. So that's a good move from Tesla. Um, there was a lot of questions on the funding side of it and there still kind of a little bit is because when they kind of come to the production side of it and they're trying to bring out like the Roadster and like the new Tesla truck which uh, has the crazy like 0 to 60 miles per hour in like 6 seconds. It's nearly quicker than my car and it's like my car's pretty quick but it's nearly quicker than my car which is insane for a truck to be doing that. Um, for it to expand and producing all these products is going to kind of still be a tricky side um, which we'll see about it. Um, also another thing as well that we've seen from this kind of side of it is also talking about the cars that are traded in, how well the Tesla uh, as model has been um, taken up uh, in terms of volume of order, um, which is, is, is very interesting to see. Um, we've also seen Tesla that are cutting the price for a cheaper model, so that more people are going to be available to buy the Model 3 from now on. Um, so that's also interesting to be noting as well. Um, and also, you, you know, you've got the cheaper model of the Model 3 coming out as well, um, coming going forward. So there's definitely a lot going on with Tesla as well, uh, with, with all that's going on. The less hours to build the Model 3 because they've taken a couple of extras out. Um, that's a good move by Tesla, cutting them costs down a little bit. Um, might see that a couple more times, I feel. But overall, that was um, one of the best earnings report I can remember from Tesla. I think on the last earnings report it jumped quite a bit but I read into a lot of the earnings report and they were talking about chips they were producing that were faster than Nvidia chips which was a load of crap in my opinion um, but this earnings report for me is definitely the best from Tesla and a really important one and I think this stock can move on forward after this um, I'm, I, I'm really impressed with this earnings from Tesla and um, beforehand you probably have heard me saying that like for me, in my opinion, Tesla is a not to get involved stock. Um, 
and just kind of like watch it from the sidelines and see what happens. In my kind of opinion, after seeing this earnings report, I've now changed my opinion on Tesla. I now believe that Tesla is a stock that is a very good stock to be purchasing. Very good market leaders, a lot of stuff going on there. They're now making profit, great revenue growth. Um, I'm definitely really impressed with this company and it's now got a buy rate for me which I've never had on Tesla. Um, personally in my opinion I'll not be picking any stocks of Tesla up at the moment because I think there's other stocks that are better to invest in. I think Tesla will still get pulled apart by a little bit of the short investors which would be a little bit of a problem. Um, but overall a very strong energy port, a strong company now um, and I'm dead impressed with it but I won't pick any shares up in, of it right now. But I would put a buy rating on it if I was asked to put some sort of rating on the stock. I would say it was a buy stock. Um, and that's my kind of my opinion into the uh, review of Tesla's earnings for today, guys. Like I say, all this week I'm going to do a lot of reviewing on tes um, on earnings that came out uh, of the last week. So give the video a like. Thanks for all the subscribers recently. It's been amazing. And I'll see you on the next video.